Hi. Um, so my name is Matt Stewart. I'm uh, in Brighton to do the mini click talk, um, which I've been, I'm very flattered to be invited uh, to do. I'm a street photographer. Uh, I work in London. I've been a street photographer for probably about 18 years now. And um, I work as a professional photographer as well. I think we're living in a world where everything is, uh, you know, photoshopped or faked or, or just, uh, you know, or just fake. Uh, and sort of the fact that this is a sort of trend for people to go out and document what's going on in their lives and what's happening in their street or in their museum or in their park. Um, and sort of showing these sort of very insightful, sort of beautiful moments that actually existed, that actually happened. Um, it's fantastic. I think it's, it's more relevant than ever. I mean, the, the dream assignment is um, actually, believe it or not, to, not to go and do street photography, um, because generally those assignments have um, uh, conditions attached. You know, they must be sort of the people in the pictures must be aspirational. And you start, it sort of starts to condition your way of thinking. You don't, you're not as free as you, sh as you should be. Um, but I mean, the dream sort of uh, assignment would be going to work in a, a museum, you know, photographing people in a gallery uh, in the same way as, as I would photograph people on the street. So not, no discussion, uh, you know, take what you see. Um, and, uh, but, but then th there's another way that I, I work. I also do sort of advertising, corporate work, which can mean someone will phone me up and say, right, we need an advert done that looks like it's captured moment, but obviously we need, you know, the lady to be wearing a red jumper and the car to be green and the dinosaur to be fluorescent pink. So you can't obviously stumble upon those things. So you get in lights, cameras and action and, and, um, and do that. And that's what I do for, for work. I do advertising, uh, which is completely different to street photography, which is, you know, no models, <laughs> no dinosaurs, no jumpers. Or, or sometimes you can get dinosaurs, very rarely. I think uh, it, it depends very, very much on the individual and who is the person who is actually actually capturing those moments. I know uh, personally, um, I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not hurting anybody with the camera at all. Um, the moments I'm looking for are generally, you know, harmless. They're not incriminating. Um, and um, I think some photographers work in different ways. And I think uh, there's a fine line between what you should and shouldn't do as a photographer in, in, in public, um, as a street photographer. Obviously, I'm not, I mean, in comparison to paparazzis, we're talking a totally different game as far as I'm concerned, because they're, they're about stealing unfortunate moments that they can then spread all over the world to embarrass people. Um, but I, I think the ethics, well, my ethics and the, and the people whose work I admire, I think they're very honorable and I think they care about the people that they photograph. I mean, the appeal in my work is um, obviously the wit and, and to the humor. Um, but also the fact that it, it's, it's something that anyone can do. Um, and I, I really do mean that. It's some, something that, that you can pick up your camera, walk out on the street and, and capture these things. Um, the fact that I've been doing it obsessively for 18 years mean, means that I've got more of those moments than most people. But, uh, but I do actually think it's very accessible and people look at it and go, oh, you know, I've sort of saw something like that. And, oh, maybe I could do that. And, and, and as a collection, it's... Um, it, it might look, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, like, like I'm some sort of roving uh, lucky eye, but it's just hard work. And, and I think people kind of, they, they uh, yeah, they, they relate to that. I think street photography is in a very exciting place. Um, I think... Um, well, 10% of the pictures ever taken were taken last year. Um, so everyone is taking pictures. Um, and the most accessible way to do it is by walking out of your house and snapping things on the street. So we're in an absolute sort of, you know, avalanche of uh, street photography enthusiasts, um, which is exciting, which I think is, is brilliant. I think um, in the context of sort of the galleries and the art world, we're 
sort of way down at the bottom. Um, and I quite like that because uh, I'm not particularly interested in the art world or, or the galleries. I'm actually really just interested in going out and taking pictures of people on the street. Um, I you know, have absolutely no need to addition pictures and plonk them up on walls.